I got a crazy baby story for you. I, I got a story that might, might even top, you know, all your various stories. So I, I'm interviewing Gary Payton, right? One of my hometown heroes, you know, grew up, you know, from the Bay. And there was a story that I brought up that he had two kids. Like he was with his girl and started messing with his old girl from high school. He got his main girl pregnant and got his high school girl pregnant five months later. Me too. But wait, it gets better. They had both, you know, both the women had kids. They were both boys and he named both the kids Gary. And they named both the kids Gary? Gary the second, who's currently playing in the NBA for the Warriors and Gary Jr. That's crazy. He a legend. <laughs> That's a legend now, bro. Gary Payton the second and a Gary Payton Jr. Jr. Right. Okay. All right. So they're they're like uh what are they like five months apart? They're five uh, months apart. I they're didn't know that part. Okay. Yeah, they're five months apart. So it's it's like, you know, when I was dating my uh Gary the second's mom, who I met in high school. And then when I got the NBA, I had a relationship with another lady. Mm -hmm. So, so happened they both had the, the kids in the same year. So it was like they both wanted to name him Gary. So I said, okay, cook, you could name one Gary Jr. and one Gary the second. So it was one of them things where it worked out for me. I'm, I'm happy for that. I got two sons named after me. We can keep my we can keep our, my name going on. So that's all I was talking about. You know, just keep my name going on. And people were saying, like, when that clip came out, they were like, "We have no idea why his nickname is the Glove because he clearly don't use condoms at all. Like, <laughs> that is the wrong nickname for this man right now." <laughs> Kid Payton, my son, man, my son, my son tooted, bro. Like I'm at the Hawks game, right? My son mm -hmm. too, that bro, he drove the fuck out of me, bro. He say, daddy, you acting like a damn groupie. I see Gary Payton, right? I'm like, man, I'm finna go get a picture. That's the glove. You know what I'm saying? So I went and took a picture with Gary Payton. I waited to take a picture with him and everything. Like, Gary Payton a legend. My son don't know nothing about no fucking Gary Payton. He telling me I'm tripping. No, nigga, nigga ain't gotta have no jewelry on. Nigga on a jumpsuit. You don't know who that is, nigga. Oh, yeah. I mean, Gary Payton, I think, was the closest person to, to almost stop Jordan. If you remember those finals, yeah. like, like he, he put it on Jordan. Like, yeah, you know I didn't what like mean? Gary he made Payton. I did not. Because you love I Jordan. I did not. He used to be on Jordan ads. I did mm -hmm. not like Gary Payton. I, I was infatuated with Michael Jordan, so, you know, I ain't like Gary Payton. That nigga, he was hard, bro. He was hard. That's a real legend. My, my son, like, you acting like a fan. I am. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. But you know something? He's considered one of the baddest trash talkers in, in, in basketball of all time. But he actually told me who is a more vicious trash talker than him. You know who that is? Who? Larry Bird. Who? Larry Bird. Larry Bird? He said Larry Bird. Would, would get up in your face and he would tell you the shots that he gonna make on you. He said, watch this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna score a three pointer on you. Bam. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the right right now, score on you again. Bam. And he would just sit there and just get in your fucking head and just tell you all the ways he gonna score on you and actually do it. He said that, that you know, people do not give Larry Bird the credit that he deserves. You know, that's a bad motherfucker right there. I he said like Larry Bird. Bird is, you know, like Bird? No. Cause you were a Magic fan, huh? Magic Johnson. Cause you were a Magic Johnson fan. No. Okay. Why didn't you like Bird? Not a Magic fan. I wasn't a Laker fan. I wasn't. I was a Bull. Ever since he put his shoes on. Mm. Well, there you have it. And there I hated Detroit. Well, I hated Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> I hated Detroit. They didn't play fair. I hated Detroit. Yeah, the bad boys, man. They they would fuck you up on that, uh, yeah. you know, on that court. That's why I was telling them, and I was glad I was like seven, eight years old. I got to see this, you know, so I know what the players right now, like, 
the fouls they would have got, they would have jumped straight up fighting. You know, if they played in the league back then, they would have jumped up straight up fighting. You know, so it's a, it's mm -hmm. a different league now. Then people, I saw yeah. what Michael Jordan went through. Like I, like it was. Uh, different. Oh yeah, no, it's a much softer sport now. You know what I'm saying? You can get fans kicked out for for acting crazy. You know what I mean? You, they'll call fouls a lot quicker. They'll take people out. They'll suspend people. Back then, you could beat people up on the, you know, on the court, and they'll let it go. Right. Yeah. 